Hey, Amy from BossMeLife.com and today I am going to show you how to paint trim. Painting trim is one of the best things that you can do to brighten your space and also update it without a whole lot of cost. When we had moved into our house about almost two years ago, we've been kind of slowly and surely been painting it room by room. and But all of the trim, all the doors, everything, and the walls were all so dark. And we don't have a whole lot of natural light in our house because we are surrounded by trees. And so it just really made the whole space super, super dark. And so we've been kind of working slowly but surely to update all of the rooms and paint all of the trim. <laughs> our bedroom is actually one of the last places that we need to update and paint. We've done the kids' room, we've done all the main living areas, but we haven't done our bedroom and then also some like the bigger renovations, like the two bathrooms and our one room. I have painted it, but it still needs more paint. So the funny story is that I wasn't really planning on painting the trim anytime soon. I was kind of waiting and we have a new puppy and for some odd reason he pooped on the curtains. I don't even understand how he did that, but he pooped on the curtains and so the curtains need to be washed and so I already had pulled them down. Why not paint it, you know? Yogi, did you poo on the curtain? I know it was you. Today I'm going to show you how to do that. I basically feel like a professional painter when it comes to trim because I've done it so many times. Um, a few things to keep in mind is you want to make sure to uh, cover any area that is exposed to make sure you don't get paint on it. You want to make sure that the area is really nice and clean so any of the trim we're going to sand it you want to make sure to clean it off. If you don't have a very steady hand it's a good idea to um, put tape on the walls. I usually do not tape the walls off because I am a pretty good at painting really good lines And so normally I don't paint tape off the walls Plus in this case we have to paint the walls anyways when you're going from dark wood trim and you want to paint it white We always want to prime it priming is really key when it comes to painting trim because we need something for it to stick to We want the paint to stick well trust me. I may have learned this the hard way First we're going to sand all the trim down. I usually like to do like a 150 grit to really get off any of the sheen. You want to make sure to get, remove all of that shine. You don't need to get it all the way down to the bare wood. You just need to make sure to get any of the shine, any of the sealer top coat. You can go back and do it with a finer sandpaper, um, like a 130, whatever the medium fine is, so that way it gives it a really nice smooth finish. You're going to want to wipe it clean with a damp towel. I usually just use paper towels and just wipe it all down. And then make sure to fill any of the cracks, any of like nail holes, if, there, if you do have any, um, with wood filler. Then you're going to sand that down, wipe it all down again, make sure to wipe any of the walls and the surrounding area off. And then if you need to, after that dries, tape it off. Then we're going to prime, and I usually do at least one, maybe two coats of primer. And then you're going to go on top of that after that dries. Um, I usually wait about one to two hours once it's completely dry. I will then paint um, with regular paint. What kind of paint should you use for trim? I always go for an enamel paint and I always choose a low to no VOC. Now I do this because we have kids. I do, it's better for the environment, but also I have a very, I'm very sensitive to smells. And so regular VOC will make me sick. And so I usually go to no to low VOC, which is really easy to find these days. Um, and you're going to want to pick out and usually the go-to is semi-gloss and that is because on the walls normally you do like an eggshell or a satin finish and then the semi-gloss really pops off. It also is easier to clean and so for whatever reason trim always seems to get really dirty between dog noses, kid fingers, sticky little kid fingers and so I like to use semi-gloss because it's really easy to wipe down. You can go a lower finish like, like an egg, a not so shiny finish, like an eggshell, but I wouldn't really go anything lower than an eggshell. Usually, semi gloss is the way to go. And I'll show you some pictures of the impact that painting trim has made in our house. Seriously, has updated um, some of our rooms like tremendously between painting trim and painting uh, wooden doors, dark wooden doors. Huge, huge difference and adding value to our house, which is nice, right? Hey, so I primed everything couple days ago and I'm finally back to repainting it so one of the best tips I like to use is for to get really straight lines I like to use these short handle brushes this just gives you know, like a lot more control when it comes to painting okay so I have had two coats of the primer and now I'm going to paint on the regular coat 
So I use the same color for all my trim all throughout the house. I usually use Swiss Coffee by Bear or Kills. Um, and this just gives it a really nice bright white color. So I just do the same process as I do with priming and I just do a light coat of paint. Making sure not to use too much paint and also doing long brush strokes. While you are painting, if you find any drip marks, make sure to wipe them up right away just with the paintbrush. When I am painting along the trim, I like to do nice long strokes to make sure that it looks really nice and smooth. And when I go underneath, and I do underneath here to make sure that the bottom of the trim is also painted, I'll go back over that spot I just painted to make sure it's nice and smooth. Once you've completely painted the trim and you allow it to dry, wait at least one to two hours before applying a recoat. And sometimes you may even have to do a third. After that, you're completely done. I just want to show you a before and after picture of our living room. This is the before and that's the after. Can't you tell the difference? It makes a huge impact. Thanks so much for stopping by Blossoming Life YouTube channel. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. We share one new recipe, DIY project, or national product every week.